What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 5th of March. We are looking at big data protocol slash tether. So our ticker symbol will be BDP USDT, big data protocol slash tether USDT. This will also be the gate IO data and over on tradingview.com for the free charting service so this has had an a pretty aggressive pullback found support and we have continued to the upside let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into the chart so we had this pullback that found support right around our 18 cent mark you go back to our first, I believe it was, big data video support right here. We spoke about at 18 cents and then looking back, that's where we have found support. Big, nice day on the 26th. Guys, that was a 36% day. Very, very nice day for that off of support at 18 cents. Resistance came in on this big run at 59, didn't quite hit our 83, but close, but 59 came in on the 7th and 8th of February. That's a very, actually, it's a very strong pullback. Let's see, from 59 to 18, that's a 70% pullback. So there is lots of volatility, to say the least here, from big data. We are bouncing higher. We have we found resistance for just a couple days at our 25,320. Then we broke out once again on the 1st of March, 42% day. Huge. This thing moves huge. All the way up to 35,707 pullback. So what am I looking for next? So we've spoken about this in previous videos, but we will revisit right now because this is a very nice looking chart. So we had our initial run up from basically a, you could call it a cup with handle. We got that higher low that took place. Let me get a arrow on the chart. We had a higher low that took place here. And then the higher high came in on the next day, which was the 1st of February, and then had a massive, massive 239% day on the 2nd of February. 239%. A low of looks like four cents and a high of 19 and a half to a massive rally higher. Resistance came in, like I said, at 59,300. And then we printed a lower high. The lower high came in right here, which was the 12th of February. And then we got our pretty aggressive pullback. So what we're seeing now, guys, and something to keep an eye out on is we have rallied up to the 25,320. And then right here, we put in a higher low, which was the 28th of February. Spoken about, when you get those pullbacks, look for that higher low. That higher low is an early indicator of a change in trend. And the next move to follow could be a higher high and it could be a very big move to the upside. And what did we see following that day was a 42% move to the upside and it was a breakout. It was a higher high. We have a change in trend. Let me try to get back to the brush tool here. So we had the pullback. We had the lower high, the higher low, which is what you want to keep an eye out on and boom, the higher high. So we have a confirmed change in trend back to the upside. 
So where are we at right now for big data? We're at an important area, guys. We could be getting ready for another big, big breakout to the upside, something like this. It could easily take us up to, call it 49, 49 cents, or somewhere in the middle of 35 and 49. So somewhere within this range, you know, the 40 to 42 cent range. So on a percentage basis from where we're currently trading up to 49 would be basically a 59 or so percent move. And then the 42 cent would be a 35% move. So this thing could be ready to make a massive, massive breakout to the upside. So we have a lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low. And the question mark is, do we get another higher high here from a 40 to a basically 60% move to the upside? So that is what I would be looking for. The RSI is not yet overbought. It's still, it's in the mid range. So it has plenty of room to go to the upside. We've seen the RSI for big data get all the way up into the 90s. Over here was in the high 80s. Once again, over here in the mid 90s. We'll see you guys. This thing looks pretty bullish though. And I would be looking for a breakout. Basically above 35,707 would be a solid breakout to the upside. Big data protocol looks very, very bullish. Now, on the flip side of that is if we start to rally up here and find resistance once again at 35,707 like we did here on the 3rd of March. Let me put an arrow on there, guys, so you can see what I'm talking about. If we find resistance once again at that same spot, that's where the price can actually get in trouble. So if we if we can't break above 35,707 in a strong fashion, like what took place right here on the 1st of March, then the price could roll over. So we could start to rally up here, approaching 35,707, and actually fail and roll over, creating a lower low to the downside. And that is where we'll getting ready to change trends in the opposite direction. So a lower high to a lower low. It's what took place right here where my circle is. We had a lower high and then we ultimately broke to the downside, creating a lower low. So two scenarios are possible. I lean towards the bullish scenario because this thing has changed its trend and it's the momentum is to the upside. But as we approach that 35,707, if it's not showing that it wants to break out and it's either one, finding resistance, two, creating a lower high, be careful of that move to potentially follow could be a lower low and that can get pretty nasty to the downside. But like I said, I'm leaning to the bullish case right now because the trend is moving to the upside with um, higher lows, higher highs. And so far yesterday, the 4th of March was a higher low. So our upside moves right now, the highest targets I have, actually, I do have some pretty high ones up in here. So we could actually take the fibs. I didn't do a measured target for this specific trend up, but what we can do is take the fibs from this section here and see where that lines us up. Does it take us anywhere near some of those much higher targets? And it does not. We have a $2 and then a $10. But I, my targets are up there at five and seven. So we'll see if we break above the, <clears throat> excuse me, break above the high here on the eighth, 
then we could easily be back up in here into the, or I should say we should be, we could be up in here into the $2 range because that would be a very area, very important area to break, which would be that high of um, 75, excuse me, 75 cents. So the fibs, the fibs have you there at two dollars, and then up there at ten, I have two levels at five, five, and seven, seven. So if you're in this, things are looking good once again. Aggressive pullback. If you made it through that, that is great. That was a seventy plus percent pullback, guys. Very, very aggressive. You can see we've traded up here in the early days in the fives. And this thing is making a run back to the upside. So as long as the markets hold together, I do see us breaking the high of the, let's see, what was that again? Excuse me here while I get this thing cleaned up. Breaking this high here of the 8th of February, and that was 77.5. That's my thoughts, guys, on Big Data Protocol. Looking good. Up 6.26% today and looking for that breakout above 35,707. Guys, welcome to the channel. Appreciate all of the subscribers and new subscribers. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, hit the thumbs up. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments. All comments, all thoughts, all opinions are welcomed down in the comments. All links are in the video description. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.